Yo, Yo dudes. dudes! Welcome to Chickpea Scramble. This is our friend, the wonderful Roz Purcell. Hey guys! Uh, I'm wearing an away game. We're in Roz's kitchen here now. So we're cooking a recipe from her uh, latest cookbook. This is Chickpea Scramble. It's simple, tasty. Accessible. You know, very good, accessible. Very, oh, good yeah, one! Yeah, look, there's a very small amount of ingredients. Anyone can make it, even my boyfriend, and he's terrible in the kitchen. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna just get a small saucepan over a very medium to high temperature. Okay. Oh, nice. um, we're going to use a little bit of oil. Man, we so I'm always use... only use high heat, so it's great. Yeah, medium, it's like, it's medium yeah, temperature. Medium. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of oil, so you can use whatever oil you like. It's about like half a tablespoon in there now. Um, I'm using avocado oil, it's a really nice high smoke point. Um, Ooh. Ooh. What I have here is some drained and rinsed chickpeas. So why do we drain and rinse the chickpeas? Reduce, uh, reduce the wind power. Oh yes, flatulence. So I'm going to pop in my chickpeas. Nice fried chickpeas, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I like this. Chickpea scramblers. Yeah, and we're going to just give it a stir so around. This is a brekkie recipe or a dinner recipe? Oh or... my god, I have it for breakfast and dinner. Like, my wow. parents have just turned vegan and they swear by this recipe. They make it Jeez. all the time. And, like, if you can turn my dad, who was a bee farmer, into a chickpea scramble lover, you know, Anthony Wow. So, I'm going to pop in some nutrition yeast. Why do we love nutrition yeast? Uh, brings a cheesy note, brings B12. It's kind of a really nice. tasty. It's like. The best flavor. thing ever, yeah, out of yeah. everything. So I'm going to put in about two tablespoons. You can put this. That's uh, like, very generous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, Roz likes it nukes. is so, so good, right? I'm going to put a little bit of cumin. Like, you can go check out my, on my blog, naturalbeef.com. Yeah, I'm going to pop in some, oh, yeah, that's almost gone. I need to, so I'm going to some new paprika. There's no, <laughs> there's no almost there. So, we put in a little bit of paprika. So many different combinations of flavors you can make using this. You can make a curry chickpea scramble, so many different things. Um, I like to keep it simple, a little bit of cumin, maybe like turmeric and a little bit of paprika. And salt, like a little bit of salt, yeah. So once your chickpeas simple. are kind of nice and hot, um, so about two minutes in, you have your um, your spices all mixed in. We're just going to mash it down using a potato masher, or you can use a fork. So those of you who are maybe in college and you're like, dude, I do not have a potato masher, a fork nice. works just as well. Or some kind of like a tin, a tin can would probably work too as a masher. You know, if you're <laughs> oh really. Oh my god, don't try that at home. <laughs> the tin is hot. The tin is on fire. Okay, so I'm going to mash about three quarters. I want to still see a little bit of chickpea there. Um, and look, that is perfect. So how long does that take me to? About 30 seconds? Jeez, I really yeah. admire the sheer accessibility of this. Yeah. And like the fact and that your mom and dad, like if you didn't want to pimp it out, you could put coriander, you oh, could put in so any sort of greens to make it, it pop a lot. And make it... That's how quick and easy it is Boom. to make. So. Um, I like to serve it with some, maybe some toasted sourdough. Your pesto is so oh, good. Wait, I'm gonna... definitely get some pesto. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we've got a vegan pesto that's coming out. Well, it's on, in Waitrose, oh. it's in the UK. It's okay, we could... at the moment, but it's coming out in Ireland after Christmas? Yeah, after Christmas. I think it should oh, be just yum. before Christmas. Vegan basil pesto, here it is. So guys, this is really delicious, you know, with some bread, a little bit of avocado, you can even have it as a wrap, whatever way you like to turn it up. That'd be nice. There we I, go. I really oh, want, like, really just, it has that kind of tuna look to it, like there. Very yeah, nice. exactly. Okay, and dudes, so here we go. Make. Roz's chickpea tofu scrambler. Roz is a number of best selling cookbooks, so do check out Roz. Natural born feeder, all around just super cool, all around rock guys, and female. You're selling it well. Oh. And also, while you're here, do not forget to subscribe to the guys' channel. So, what do you think? Beautiful. Yummy, yeah. Delicious. Lovely, really simple, accessible, yeah. delicious. Really, really tasty. Dudes, check out Roz. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And bye. 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 bye.